Malala. This one, you came back fast, fast. Have they sack you? Sack me, Kwa. Sack me. Is that what you are praying? Let me disappoint you. As I am now, they have promoted me miracle promotion. I am thinking how I'm going to go and pack my things and start going to America. My company is sending me to America. How? My sister, I just want to walk today. I did not know that God is watching me and wanting to bless me. God has blessed me. I'm going to America. Wow. <laughs> how did this happen? My sister, come let me tell you. It's a very long story. From cleaner to Americana. My sister, <laughs> see. I was just uh, in the office today, oh, mm-hmm. doing my duty in my department <laughs> as a professional. Cleaner. <laughs> Not cleaner, Emanuela. It's Jana. Ja. Cleaner. <laughs> Anything you call it. <laughs> but I was doing my duty, oh. Then <laughs> people were not coming in, you know, as a professional cleaner. <laughs> I was just uh, sweeping. <laughs> Hey, let me clean you. Excuse me, what's the meaning of this? Sir, in this place I'm the new cleaner. Everything in this place have to be clean, even our customers. My friend, stop this rubbish. <laughs> Sir, let me clean your armpit, it's like it's dirty. This customer said, some of them will not even back. They will be coming to a person company like that. Ah, ah, madam, I, will, I wanted to clean you up, but you are already clean. <laughs> clean, madam. I'm keeping your company clean. Are you the new cleaner here? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. I started it's yesterday. And I'm excited about this work. I will clean everything in this office. Don't worry. I will keep your company clean. Cleanness is my second name. <laughs> Uncle, please use the restroom. You want the restroom? Yes. That place. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How can small boy like this be wanting restroom? When I was small like you, Seb, I did not know what restroom is. As small as you are, you are looking for restroom. School boys of nowadays, they are not even teaching them anything. What this big man picking? What is a small boy doing with restroom? Uncle, please, that is not the restroom. So I show you restroom, you tell me that it's not restroom. That is not the restroom. Is it you that is working here or me? That is the restroom, you are telling me it's not the restroom. I will slap you now. Come on, go there and go and do. Uh, I don't know what you want to do with the restroom. <laughs> see, see, schoolboy like you, you are looking for a restroom. When I was a schoolboy, do you think I used to look for a restroom? Because I am too clean here, yeah, yeah, you yeah, are asking me a restroom. If I curse you now, first look, we now say that we are using curse word in our video. <laughs> don't make me talk something that will make them to go and demonetize this video now. <laughs> Okay, uncle, where's the convenience? Convenience? Yes. I will slap you. So that place is not restroom enough for you. Now you want convenience. That is the convenience. If you want convenience, go there and have convenience. Who is your mother self? Come on, go there. Look at this small pequeno. Nonsense. You are doing a job for me. Who even knows? A student like you that used to smoke where they grow up. <laughs> you mean that that beautiful lounge is not convenient enough for you? You cannot rest here. It will. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to win. You are winning? Yes. How do you know where the toilet is? Yes, yes, I win. Are you, is nothing wrong with you? Why are you winning in the restroom? You told me that you want restroom. Restroom is not enough for you. You come here and be winning. So this place, it looks like a toilet to you. If I cause you now, you do with I'm causing mine now. Yeah, yeah, I win. Ow. I, 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 I will just thank you now. Look at why you're winning and you're, you're crying. It's like uh, you don't have home training. Mark, what's happened? Now, now look at this chick, chickly boy. Yo. This boy came to me. Yo. He said that he wants a restroom. Mm-hmm. And I said, ah, ah, how can a small pekin like this now want to go and rest? And I said, okay, no, Wahala. I think it's customer that we are serving. I don't know his parents. And I told him to come to the lounge and come and rest. He came to me again. I said that he cannot rest here, that this place is not good. I said, how can a small pekin like this now? Now look at this beautiful place and now say that it's not good enough for him. He now came back again and I said that what he wants is a convenience. That he wants to be convenience in life. <laughs> and I said, as small as you are, what have you achieved that you want to be convenience in life? This boy now came here. Instead of coming here to come and rest, he now came here and started being. Look, 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 look at what this boy did here. I don't even know who his parents are. As big as you are, are you not up to 10 years old? How can you come here and be peeing? I told you come here and rest. You come here and you are peeing. If I slap you again now, you will know no, your no, friend. No, 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 Mark, he, he will pack that pee. I will not clean it though. I will not clean it. Mark, 
This is Madame's son. <laughs> this is Madame's son. <laughs> yes. Madame is not training her children well. Eh? <laughs> I will help her. Oh yeah. Come no, on. No, 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 Ma, I'm going to go. report Ma, him. Let me report him to Ma, his mother. Ma. Madame must hear this. Eh? Wait, oh. You beat your Madame's son. Then she gave you promotion. Bam. <laughs> Wait. What happened? So, we now went to Madame's office. <laughs> <laughs> so you now beat him and reported him to me. Yes, so madam, this is your picking, eh? This is your picking need home training. <laughs> madam, I did not even know that uh, you don't have time to be training your children. You should have told me now. Nah. I'll be helping you train this your children. I know that uh, it's not your fault that you cannot train these children very well. Because a working class lady like you, you don't have time to train your children. It's people like us that are jobless that you'll be giving your children who will be training them for you. Just look, just look at the kind of thing that this boy did. If not because he's your son, I would have killed him inside that place. But because of you. Young man, <laughs> would you like to be relieved of your duties? Relieved? Hey, ha, madam, how did you know? I want to be relieved. Oh. <laughs> this job that I, this cleaning job that I'm doing is tiring me. I'll be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning everywhere, cleaning customers. I have told manager, it's not like as if I have not told manager. I have told manager before that this job is very, very hectic. That you should relieve me. At least get somebody to be doing money. And that person to be doing night. Let me have some relief. But he will not agree. I thank God that I'm talking to you now. Please, man, let me be coming Monday and Tuesday. At least Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me not come to work. Let me have some relief. Manager. Ma? Relieve this young man of his duty. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you that you are here now. Manager, I have told you this thing before. It's not as if I have not told you this thing before. You see now. Madam, thank you. Thank you. I will be coming Monday and Tuesday. I will not come the rest of the week again. Thank you. Young man, you can take your leave now. No, madam, no. Leave, no. Ah, leave is too much. It's too much. How <laughs> can you? Madam, are you serious? Should I? Madam, are you serious? Madam, you are just joking with me. Even these bonds that is here, this bonds has not taken leave. It's me that just came yesterday that will not come and go and take leave. <laughs> if you insist, who am I, Kwano? I will take my leave. Madam, I heard that uh, when manager went, uh, when manager took his leave, that he went to America on vacation. Uh, it's not as if uh, I have anything against uh, America, but Trump. That Trump thing, I don't like it. Can I go to Dubai? I'm um, young man. Just leave. Just leave. Ordinary leave. That is American leave now. Nah. <laughs> I even like American film self. I used to watch Hollywood movies. <laughs> I will prepare now, but when am I? Leave now. Now. Hey, God bless you. Man. God bless you. God will reward you. He said this thing that you have done for me. God will use it and bless you. He God bless you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, man. God bless you. Manager, you see you. You look at your life. Look at you. Look at me now, I'm going to America for a vacation. You went, now it's my time to go. You look at your life. So man, when I come back, I want to remove this boy from the job of a manager. <laughs> now, but let's not talk about that now. Let me just go and pray here. Manager, who employed this young man here? My thought, actually, we interviewed... I forgot to ask. Madam, sorry. <laughs> uh, please, eh? Uh, this uh, leave. Can I take any member of my family along? Oh, God. Oh, no, don't worry. I know that is too much to ask. Let me go and pray here. That was how I got the libo. <laughs> hey! Emanela! Uncle Mark! Are you not happy for me? Uncle Mark, you're a lunatic. <laughs> Emanela, don't. <laughs> you're making me blush too much. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you're flattering me. Even my madam has seen the lunatic in me. That's why she's giving me <laughs> premature leave. <laughs> Let me go and prepare. <laughs> This lunatic said I did not even study it in school. He's just working no. for me. Whose uncle is this? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Emanela? Eh? What? Uncle, what are you selling? You. I'm talking to you. Come back here. Come back here. What's your problem? Hey? I've been calling you. You're, you're, you're busy walking away. Why do you ask them not to allow me to leave? Uncle, 
I've told you everything you need to know. Let me go to my office. Hey, hey, hey! Omeya, Omeya, will you come back here? What, what rubbish? How, how, how do you mean you, you've told me everything I need to know? That I must pay 3.5 million naira. For what? How? For the free food they have been eating in this hotel. For using our pool for free. And for the room you have been in for free. Big room! That's the 2.5 million naira you need to pay. And let me remind you. If the money accumulates to 5 million naira, eh? you're going to walk in in this hotel. Let me see you. Come on, hold me. Let me see you. Come on, hold me. Let's go. Let's go. What's the rubbish? Okay. If I open the gates now. Um, sir, you see. You are a very popular customer in this place. Aww. I can't open the gate for you, sir. <laughs> what do you mean you can't open the gate? Eh? Are you okay? Open this gate, my friend. Let me leave this place. What's your problem? Sir, you see, our manager asked me not to open the gate for you. Hey! This was serious, so. Eh? What rubbish is that? Clear up, clear up, we, we, we be. Eh? And I'm sure he does not even know what has transpired. Uh oh, oh. Okay, okay, fine. Um, uh, I, I know you don't know what ha happened initially. Let me explain to you. See, when I came here to lodge, right, uh, the owner of this hotel is my very good friend, a bosom friend for that matter. So because of the way our friendship is going, he said, okay, why don't you stay here for free? Don't pay anything. Now he's no longer the owner of the hotel because power has changed hands. The new manager is now asking me to pay for all the time I have stayed here. What rubbish? If it were you, will you, will you, will you, will you like it? Eh? Is that fair? It's not fair, sir. Aww. It's not fair. You see? But you see, it's not in my power to open this gate for you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's not your power to open this gate? Eh? Yeah, man, what's your problem? What about what, what, what this gate? Okay, okay, fine. Can you at least allow me to go out and buy food? Eh? Sir, see, you are allowed to eat anything you want to eat in this hotel. Eh? You can eat whatever you want to eat, but just note, that if your bill reach 5 million naira, you'll be my favorite colleague. Jesus! <laughs> 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 I think that must be the one that we made. Are you still sleeping? Eh? I'm here. Okay, aha, uh -huh. that's good. Oh, come in, come in. Yeah. Sorry, sir. This is your order. Are you sure this is my order? Yes, sir. No, I'm not sure. I only ordered for a plate of food. Okay. But this is room 306, right? Yes, this is room 306. This is the order the manager gave. And your bill is 200,000, sir. Ah, 200,000 now? What now? Let me even see. Hey! What, what, what's all this me doing here now? I only order for, for a plate of food. In short, I didn't even order for beef. Eh? Are you sure this is where you're supposed to bring this food? That's what my manager said, sir. Your manager? Did I swear something is wrong with your manager? 200,000 now. I only order for a plate. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I, in short. Where's that manager? Where's that, where's that manager? You say? Eh? Receptionist, what is happening here? Eh? What is happening here? I ordered for a plate of uh, food, eh, with no beef. Yet I, I, I got two plates of food and, and beef uh, everywhere. What, what is that rubbish now, eh? Sir, it's not in my hand, so it's from the manager. Oh God, where is the manager? Call the manager now. Call the manager. Eh, uh -huh. uh, Ella, what's going on here? Please, manager. What happened? <laughs> 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 Okay, um, mm. if you need to know, I ordered for a plate of food without beef. That means without protein. Yet, I got two plates of food with, with, with protein. What is that rubbish now? Eh? And the, the food is so expensive. I can't afford it. So why, why will you give me uh, uh, two, two plates of food? Sir, in this hotel, we choose what our customer will eat. What do you mean you choose what the customer will eat? Eh? What nonsense? I cannot afford the two plates of food with uh, beef people gave to me. Uh, is that too much for you to understand? Eh? 
I'm cutting to my uh, my coat according to my material. What's your problem? Sir, with all due respect, you cannot be eating like a poor man in this hotel. Hey! Especially when you're in room 306. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see that the room is the problem, right? Okay, fine. Please, I want to change my room. I need a smaller room, smaller one. There's no other small room in this hotel. Or is there any room? No, ma'am. There's no room. We only have presidential suite. Or do you want to stay in presidential suite? And the food there is very cheap. Just 600,000. Hey, Jesus! Should I give you the card? <laughs> Sapa. Yes! 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 Yes, so if you help me with the five million naira, I will pay back when I, once I'm out of this place. Y yes, yes. Uh, I'll share my account details. Okay, okay, I'll send it now. Thank you, eh? Thank you. Oga, hmm? um, I want to swim. Swim? Um, I don't even know how much again, no. Okay, you know what? Just hold on, let me check, eh? Let me ask the uh, receptionist. Uh, 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 please, um, how much for swimming again, please? Remind me. It's 10,000 naira, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Sir, excuse me. What room number? Room 306. Okay, for room 306, sir. It's 300,000. Hey! 300 what? 1,000 naira. Hey! I don't understand. It's, 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 okay. 300,000. I want to swim. Stop that rubbish! Stop it! Sadi, water is clean. What, 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 what nonsense? <laughs> clean water. You, you imagine it. Uh -uh. I will say uh, so many thousand there. Who does that? Eh? Success! Success! Jesus! Success! Jesus! Success! <laughs> Success! Hey! Success! Come on! 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 What is wrong with you? Eh? I just need to just hold on. Let me go and ask how much for swimming. Fum, you know my mom already made me. What's that one? Hello, sir. Yes? Your bill, sir. Bill what? For what? For swimming. Oh, God. Success. <laughs> Thanks, sir. She's only a thousand. Hey, hey, come, 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 Receptionist, where is your manager? Huh? Where is your manager? Uh -huh. uh, Ella, please. Manager. Manager, take. Mm -hmm. Now you are talking. Now you cannot pack your things and leave this hotel. Tito. Application for the post of a cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> public notice. The police has declared a public notice for all citizens to be very careful as a few criminals escaped from the police cells. You need to apply all safety measures on the road, school, church or neighborhood because they possess some firearms which is dangerous to confront them in any kind of physical combat. Lastly, anyone who have any useful information of a suspected criminal on the loose will be rewarded a sum of 10 million naira. Just contact the nearest police station in your surrounding. Thank you. What nonsense? What really is going on in this country? Policemen shamelessly reporting criminals escaped 
from Gassel and go in the street Can now telling us the citizens to be careful how we move on the road and that if we get any of the criminals we should report to what is really going on how can policemen come out openly to report to the public that criminals escape from their cell shamelessly this is terrible no, 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 no. It's not a matter of shooter. Be careful. The policemen, the security op operatives should know exactly what to do. Then, how did those criminals escape from the cell? How did they escape? Get down! Get down! Have you heard the latest? Wait, is it this news that is trending about police awarding people, that is going to award people if they can be able to tell the way about some certain criminal? Yes! That is the in thing. That is what is trending now. The police, they are rewarding anybody that can give them useful information about those criminals or even bring the criminals to the police station. Bam! 10 million naira! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's nice, <laughs> but how do we identify the criminals? They cannot just come out and just see somebody and know a person is criminal. Ah, nah. Keep Brown, so you're not thinking what I'm thinking? Eh? K-Brown, this is a business opportunity for us! Business opportunity how? Hi, K-Brown! Think one no! Make sense! Okay, see, K-Brown, what if two of us now we go to the police station? I will now submit you as a criminal. Then they will give me the reward of 10 million naira. After some days, I'll come and bail you. Mm. Hi, <laughs> K-Brown! That, that, that's a nice <laughs> idea, but don't, what, don't you think when we go there, I will submit you as a criminal? Eh? Then I'll go and collect the 10 million naira, then after some days, I'll come and bail you. No, now! Nah. Uh -uh. K-Brown, what, 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 what are you saying like that? See, K-Brown, you look more like a criminal than I am. Hey, you look like a criminal, wait, now look, look at it. Wait, 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 wait. When was the last time you used your mirror? Have you seen your hair? Do you know that if you walk by, if you walk on the road now, police see, they will, they will clap you immediately as one of the criminals they are looking that for. That is the more reason that I am a bad market. Hey, I am not qualified for such tax. Because your own, you are in between. You are like a mixture, Miss Kobo, of a, a good guy and a, a criminal. Okay. And which makes it easier for me to be able to bail you at a lower rate. At least, when I want to bail you now, don't spend like uh, 500,000 there. But me now, if I go there, Two million, and we will shut the money. By the time we spend five hundred thousand, we have nine point five million to share. Think that, about that, it. That, that is a very, very good idea. Need this sense. Need this sense. Because then, let's just go to the session. Ah, let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Move it. Come on, move it. Thief, thief, move, 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 move. Thief. Look, 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 look at his head. Eh? Hey, what's going on here? Eh, uh, eh, uh, sir. This is one of the loose criminals people are looking for. One who escapees is a thief, a criminal. You are one of the criminals that escaped from the prison. Hey! You! You will stay here until our DP will come back! Stand here! You see! Hey, officer, how are you, sir? Uh, I'm still waiting for my reward. And you can say anybody that has any useful information whatsoever should come and uh, we'll get a reward. So <laughs> I'm still waiting for my <laughs> Calm down. Take it to the DPO's office. DPO's office. Oh, DPO <laughs> You are Mr. Who once again? Best Ten, sir. Ah, Best Ten. Yes. Best Ten, okay. So, Mr. Best Ten, we thank you so much for helping us apprehend a loose criminal. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The pleasure is all mine, sir. Okay. <laughs> like, we always say, police is your friend. <laughs> and uh, having done that, just like we promised, <laughs> here is your reward. <laughs> 10 million naira. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So just be on the lookout around your neighborhood. So if you can help us get another loose criminal, that's that would be another ten million dollars for you. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> another ten million dollars for me, sir. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Oh, two four seven. Every day you call, you come to for me. Hey, I told myself that citizens will never fail me. Ah! Hey, oh my God, ten million there. Ah! <laughs> Tomorrow now, first thing first, I'll go and cash this money. 
then I will now go with somebody to go and bake a brand. Ha! <laughs> but who will I go with now? Who will I go with? Ha! Mark. Ah! Mark! <laughs> Marco! Mark! So you guys have the ghosts to escape from the prison? <laughs> Criminals! God have mercy upon us. They have been going about terrorizing the society. <laughs> we have come to the end of the road today. Are you playing? What type of plane is this? To think that you even shot and killed one of my men. <laughs> yes. I did what? Hey, sir, please. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. I'm innocent. Ask the person I brought you here. I'm not a criminal. Shut your mouth. <laughs> You are a criminal. I know you very well. I recognize your face. Yes. No, it's not me. Well, you're mistaking me for someone else. The law has sentenced all of you to death by firing squad. I this is plain. But I'll give you a last chance. Do you have anything to say? I will command your teeth just now. Your last words, your last wish, mention before you die. Say you in here. I could have killed a lot. Yo. Please, I'm not a criminal. Please. I'm not a criminal. Officers! Yes, sir. No. Aim. Are you playing? No, no. no. Fire! Ah! <laughs> What are you doing here? If you don't want me, just tell me. Which one is all this one I had in? You would have called me now. Eh? You would have called me. Shabby she, says true love. It's not you that says true love. So I cannot even surprise you. Other people you will surprise them. They will be like, uh oh, only you now the the this thing. I know it's true love. I love you. Yeah? But come into my house now, eh? You would have waited for me now. At least when school resumes, we can talk now as much as we want. See each other as much as we want. I miss your gullet. That's why I come here. Because me, I miss your gullet. You don't understand. My father is an army general. And if he finds you here, you are dead. You know the watch? You know it's the watch in Hollywood. I'm a Nigerian film. I've watched all these things several times. My daddy is a this You just go and meet your daddy. You'll be emotional. You'll be emotional. You'll say, you say, Daddy, this is the man I want. If you don't want this man, I will run away. Your daddy will not be like, my daughter. Are you listening to me? This is not Nollywood. This is real life. It's real life, Wood. <laughs> my father does not like boys. If he sees you here, hey, God. <laughs> People transform myself, they blow. Even in our street, our transform ourselves used to blow. Okay. Hey. That, that, that thing is even everywhere in Nigeria. Everybody transform I would just be blowing in here. Don't you? Any spot we used to call one man. See, it's, what is it? It's not your father. Hey. It's not your father that just shot my first boyfriend. Are you playing? Sir, Ma, sir? Daddy shot someone. Like, it's a, it's a sin for us to have men in our life. Like, we can't have a boyfriend, Abi. We, we can't have a boyfriend. <laughs> And he shot someone. What type of plane is hey. this? My father is about to shoot you. People can add to your family. Do you think we are joking? Are people talking in Hollywood? This are... Hey, keep quiet. Do you think we are joking? My father just shot my sister's boyfriend what? and you are here joking. Is that what Yes. Uh, How many times would you hey. your father, your father, your, your father, just, my voice, why my voice be like, your father just did one. Your father just shot my sister's boyfriend. Uh, okay. Where are you going to? We must learn it. Where are you going to? I am I going? This is electric fence now, you want to kill yourself? Not be juju be that. What is, hey. Okay, that time that you tell me that your father is a general, it's not, you know, it's not fake life. Did you not just hear what my sister said now? I, I did not hear it. Okay, we need to hide. Okay, anywhere. We okay. need to hide. Wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I have an idea. Tell him, Marco, I'm an angel. angel. God, have mercy upon us. Tell him, I'm guy, I'm angel. Okay, you know what? And just tell him that um, you came to teach me something. You're my lecturer. Yes, yes, you're my lecturer. Yes. You're a lecturer today. You're a lecturer they dress like this. I'll be like, Hey, this one is fine now. Catch your dressing. See, my daddy does not like boys, so he does not like boys. He will kill you. He will kill you. My lecturer. Oh, oh. Hey, 
my dad does not like boys, so and if he knows you're my boyfriend, you're dead. Your boy, who's your boyfriend? Me? Who be your boyfriend? Me? Come for bid. Come for bid. That was that to the world to do. Okay, 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 okay. You're, you're not my boyfriend. You're not my boyfriend. You're not my boyfriend. Okay, okay. What do we do? What do Let's go inside. Are you pleased? Let's go inside. 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 Let's go Oh no, I put your hands Oh no, I put your hands on. It's a bit too much. Hey, hey. What's going on there? Who is this man again? Daddy, he's our laundry guy. Yes. We're just arguing about our clothes. Yes, yes. good as yes, The laundry guy? Oh, the laundry guy is here. <laughs> Daddy, I've not met the laundry guy. No, I don't know this one. This is the new laundry guy now. Are you playing? Huh. Yes. <laughs> How are you? We're looking for you. Go and get time. <laughs> Thank you. So this ah, I not forget to something. What? My money now. Your money? Yeah, that's the way he was washing. He found 30k in the pocket of my dress. What? That's why he came to give me the money now. Oh, very nice of him. Mm. Okay, she's talking about me. Now nah, you came to give me my money. That's why you're here. Okay, I get to give you your money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How much is it again? <laughs> 30k. Are you playing? Okay, okay, I see 30k in your pocket. Okay, okay, that I call you for. That I say I'll give you tomorrow. Have you? That I say I'll give you tomorrow. Okay. My friend? Yes, it's been a good call that. I'll give her, her how much again? 30k. Have you? you don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. How much? That, that's 13,000. Child! Yeah, this morning. I'll give you the rest tomorrow. You know that as I, was com as I was coming, when I see the money in your pocket, when I call you, that time that I call you, I was going to the bank. Bank have closed. That was the only cash. Because I keep it in the bank so that they will not do this thing. Aww. Well, I think it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice person. Nice. That okay, is very guys. nice, though. It's hard to see people that will give. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for... You are very highly welcome, sir. You are highly welcome anytime. I'm very faithful. I'm very loyal. Uh, you can take your leave. Okay? God bless you, sir. So please, come and show me. Come, come and show me the way out. Um, if you move front small, then you're right. Okay, front by my right. Please come and just show me that, that front. Please, just come. Come, 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 <laughs> come and show me the, the front that you're talking. Sir. There's no need for that. My... Soldiers will show you how you will get out from this house, okay? You get it? Any other thing you want? No, I just want get to say out. thank you very much. Yes, sir, give me your phone. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Love the guy, wait. Okay, sure. Thank, thank you, you Jerry. Give me your phone, my sister. Well, no, sir. You know, most of my customers, they used to say, I'm nice, so oh, I'm yeah. using this. See that money that you're owing me? That I'm owing you, Abby? Yes. Okay, yes. the money that I'm owing you. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. When you want to pay it, you call my sister's line. Okay, I'll call you. Oh, you already have my sister's line? No, I did not have it, though. Wait, your phone, let me call it for you. Okay. Okay, 081 62 Thank you. No, 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 come now, come and, come and call it so I will confirm that Dial you have it. Is that what? Come and call it. What type of plane is this? Dial that number. Uh, yes. So I will be sure that it will go. Oh, okay, yes. You have a point. You have a very big point. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I'm dialing. I'm dialing it though. So it will bring. Yes! Yes! Sister, hmm? you already have the laundry guy's number. I saved it with my love. Eh? No, no, it's my love dream. Love dream. That's the name of my laundry. Love dream <laughs> that's in his services. You understand? My love. So that's why I give him my love dream. Okay. 
talking about the love emoji. Eh? No, the love emoji is my logo. Love three. Okay. The love emoji is my logo. She's my customer, so she know all these things. Oh. Do you understand that? So love emoji represents love three. Try cleaning laundry and stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, what about it. the ring emoji? <laughs> Wedding. No, no, you know the first customer, the first customer that I have, the first customer that I have, there is a wedding ring in my pocket. So, as I ran, as I, as I ran, ah, my voice, as I ran, see the wedding ring, and I return it to the man. You understand? Mm, so, the man, I say, use this thing and do your signboard. So, it's, it's more like it's a representation of my signboard because it's a part of, it's a part of contact. Thank you, sir. Okay, so what about the picture that both of you are kissing me? Yeah! I will find my way, sir. Yeah! Hey, come back here! Come back! I will find my way, I will find my way, sir. I will find my way, sir. I will find my way. Mr. Excuse me, sir. Why are you pointing the gun down, sir? 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 Excuse me, sir. You are pointing the gun. Why are you pointing the gun down, sir? You are pointing the gun down, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ah, Sister Ella. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, Emanuela. Um. I was invited on a three days church program. Eh? Wow. And, uh, but I don't want to go on the very first day. I would love to go to the second and the third day, which is tomorrow and next tomorrow. Um, but um, I need to ask, which of my topic do you think I should preach there? Which of my topic do you think that is good for me to go to a church uh, a, a program and preach? I think you should preach about salvation. Hmm, salvation. Okay, yes. That is good, that is good. And also, I would love you to come as my PA and hype man. Ah, which one is hype man in church? Hype man are those people that introduce pastor with so much energy and when the pastor is preaching, you hear something like, right on pastor, took me the word, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> That's what they are basically. Okay. So, eh, just prepare so that I can be able to move very early tomorrow, okay? okay. <laughs> Thank you. Say praise the Lord! Hallelujah! You see, in the Bible, the woman with the issue of blood, what did she do? When she saw our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, she walked up to him. Somebody say she walked up to him. She walked up to him. And what did she do? She touched the hem of his garment. And right here, I have an extension of that garment. Somebody said an extension. An extension. Now, if you touch this handkerchief, you shall move into your next season. Yeah. You shall move from poverty to riches. Yeah. I know somebody in this congregation is about to move to the next level. Yeah. And if you are convinced in your spirit, wherever you are seated, I want you to come out right now and touch this hem of this garment. But you must know something. You must come out with a seed. You know, you must plant a seed in order for it to germinate. Okay. You must believe for it to happen. So if you are convinced in your spirit, come out with a seed and touch this hem of this garment and move into your next season. I know somebody is about to move into their next season. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I need you to start coming out. Come out with your seed. With your seed. never come late in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. Today we are moving closer and tomorrow shall be fire for fire. Yeah. Somebody say fire for fire. Fire for fire. You know, in our midst, we have an anointed man of God. Yeah. We'll be calling up um, Sister Ella to do a proper introduction. Please, a round of applause for Sister Ella. Lord. Oh, this is 
small. Just praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Today we are going to be calling on our overseer. Oh. Our deal. Oh. <laughs> Can we please call on Pastor K. Brown? Oh, this is Anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I like the energy I'm seeing here. Okay. I just saw what your pastor did. The cloak of garments. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Now I want to tell you people something. Today I'm not here to say much. But tomorrow is going to be fire. Yes. Say fire. I believe everybody has what we call ancestral curses. Yes. So, if you want the yoke of every ancestral curses in your life to be broken tomorrow, you have to come here with a coconut. Mm. Well, because here, we will be breaking the yoke of every ancestral curses tomorrow. If you are a young lady and you know that you have attained the age of marriage, but you are not yet married. Come with your own coconuts. <laughs> and remember, if you have the neighbors too, that you want them to succeed, also invite them to come with your own coconut too. So that every yoke, every ancestral yoke will be broken tomorrow in Jesus' name. <laughs> May we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sister Emanuela. Please, when you get home, don't forget to prepare yourself and get ready for tomorrow's service. Okay. Okay? You know, tomorrow, I'll be performing miracles. Hey, Pastor, I heard you talking about coconut. Is it part of salvation preaching or...? Don't worry. They've been changing of plans. They say when you get to the room, you behave like a Roman. <laughs> so, you see, when I was in the church and when the other pastor was ministering, I was led by the Spirit to do this. Yes, you know, look at when he brought out the hanky and he was asking those people to come and touch for them to be able to like uh, receive their own healing. Look at the way the people responded. Those people don't need salvation preaching. They don't need salvation ministry. What they need is miracle. That's why I'm going to perform miracle tomorrow. <laughs> but Pastor, performing miracles is not part of your gift. It's just preaching. Who told you? Eh? Who told you that? I have that gift. I just have not been using it for some time, but tomorrow I'm going to be using it for the first time. <laughs> but Pastor, shh, just focus on your own hyping and let me do my miracle tomorrow. Somebody say fire! Fire! Say fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, our guest pastor told us to come with our coconuts. I am here with my coconuts. Are you with your coconut? <laughs> Emanuela, see this coconut, eh? Things could not put inside the bag. When I call you to bring my coconut, when you bring it to the altar, okay? Good. Are you ready to move forward? Yes! yes! We'll call our sister, Sister Emanuela, to come and welcome our pastor. Church, praise the Lord! Some coconut. Oh Jesus! Can we make welcome our pastor here, Pastor K. Brown? Amen. Amen. Today is the last day, and today is fire. Hallelujah! Every curse shall be broken today. Amen. Coconut. Hey, uh, Emanala, go and bring my coconut for me. <laughs> yes, today, oh, every barrier shall be broken. Amen. Today, so many causes shall be broken. <laughs> today, our pastor is going to use a different yes. coconut, not the same with the one you're using to show that he's a man living God. Hey! He's <laughs> at uh, you. Children of God, then, stand up and start praying.
Don't talk about that. Don't play with all your body to do this, coconut. Emanuela, what this was the coconut I gave you to give to me. Hey, God have mercy upon us. Um, a member brought this coconut, and I thought that his problem was bigger than your own. So I now gave him the coconut since our pastor. Emanuela, but this coconut cannot be broken. Okay. Even the pastor can't perform miracles. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Our pastor here just finished telling me that by the count of three, eh? you break this coconut. <laughs> and if this coconut did not break, we know there is not a real man of God. Hey! Yes! This coconut break! Oh, Jesus! Something miracle will happen in your life. Hey! God, and this is our pastor here, like when they're happy, you know. Let's happy, let's happy. Break it! Break you don't know. It. You don't know why it's going on. Hey! Hey! Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, do it.